This March Madness Bracket Picks and Futures Edition of the Sports Game and Podcast is brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S.-based and available in 40 states. Head to cut.com, that's K-U-T-T dot com, and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by SGPN subscriber-only March Madness Bankroll Challenge. Free to enter and up to $2,000 in prizes. Enter today at sportsgamepodcast.com slash madness. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy. Pick them for a chance to win 100x in NBA, NHL, college basketball, and more. Sign up today using promo code SGPN to get a 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hrofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan Real Money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, hello, March Madness. I'm wearing a, a bison to commemorate the win of the Colorado Buffaloes today. I'm sure that's confusing yes, to most. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us in studio to talk all things college basketball, Colby Dan, AK Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? I got the itch today watching these games, having cocktails here. Shout out oh, to yes. uh, the hookup Rose City Distilling. Oh, Dean, shout out to Dean and his brother hooking us up. And if you get to, uh, you know, get a cocktail, get a oh, cocktail, yes. man. I'm enjoying yeah. a delicious uh, cocktail. Shout out to Rose City, a uh, great distillery. Joining us, a man who loves enjoying some distilling, uh, Moneyline <laughs> Mac. What's happening, Mac? Absolutely. I love it. And shout out to Dean and... Uh, Glad to be on the right side of the table with uh, Team Ryan. <laughs> oh wow, they are uh, they're high fiving over there. Bros and- <laughs> they're celebrating. Uh, yeah. We got a we got a great episode. Oh, and of course, shout out to uh, Noah B over there rocking his. Uh, what do you got there? Florida Gators. I got the Florida Gators oh script God. shirt. Uh-oh. I mean, I had to wait two days to be able to talk about the team that I'm going to cl- claim this March. <laughs> yeah. so mm. We we get to pick their first game here, and I might have some fun stored in the bracket here. Oh wow! Ooh, mm. Stay tuned for that. We got we got so much you get to ride of course first off got to shout out our uber driver <laughs> uh very uh, we he picks us up at the circa to come over here to the uh, wind studios to do uh, this episode you're listening to now and immediately just starts bitching about an 18 parlay that he almost hit and then before that he had another 18 parlay ryan and before that you won't believe this. This guy had a 15 team parlay. One team screwed him. He had a quarter million dollars ready to go. And uh, the, the Broncos or the Raiders scored two late touchdowns. This guy was just bad beat after bad beat after bad beat. I had to uh, get out of the Uber when we got there to hop on this uh, radio call. And so I'm like trying to get up to the room to get, uh, get to the call on time. And I keep looking back at Colby and Ryan and the Uber driver is still there chatting their ears off. <laughs> <laughs> about I assume more bad beats. Uh, what, I, what else did he say? It was a Deion Sanders play twenty years ago that cost <laughs> him a lot. Uh, and it 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 look he this guy was from Italy, Greece, Greece, right, Greece. I'm Jeez. sorry, Jeez. Oh, wow. Well, I was I was not, oh. not, I was nodding off a little bit, uh, <laughs> but uh, he uh, you know. Deion Sanders as a running back, he said. Col- Col- the looked- running back, Deion Sanders. He, he was described. He goes the, <laughs> yeah. the 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 kid from Colorado who did this with his feet, and he was just yeah. like doing like the, like, the high, step. high step. And I'm he like, goes, this is 20 years ago, and I was like, Cordell Stewart, Rashawn Salam, <laughs> what are we talking about here? No, <laughs> I did say. I will say though, as I I kind of I was trying to keep the conversation going, and I gave him the whole like, yeah, I got a bad beat story. I remember this time that Mac Jones uh, stole all this money from me, and he goes. <laughs> You think that's bad? I got 10 worse than that. He's, he's like, one time I had an 8-team, a 6-team, a 10-team, a 12-team. Long story short, I would have won $250,000. Yeah. But Barcelona only scored one goal. And that piece of shit, Le- Lewandowski, <laughs> scored three goals the next week. Hey, he was great, though. He was well, a- and I didn't have the heart to tell my Scott Tolzien story because oh. I still did win $200,000, but I thought he would enjoy the, the idea of me getting screwed out of $800,000 because of that bass 
bastard, Scott Tolzien. And uh, it would normally, he would easily qualify as this week's edition of Real Men of DGEN. But uh, rarely do we ever talk baseball in March, but we had to make exception for this week's edition of Real Men of DGENs. SGPN presents Real Men of DGENs. Real Men of DGENs. We salute you. Shohei Otane. I uh, probably mispronounced that, but uh, <laughs> bad times for uh, his interpreter. Now, supposedly, uh, if you believe uh, Shohei's story, his interpreter stole four and a half million dollars from him to pay off some gambling debts. Now, the story is changing a bunch because apparently Otani wired the money directly uh, to this bookmaker because he didn't <laughs> trust the interpreter and was worried he would gamble it away if he gave it to him directly. That's just a great friend, Otani. Some uh, controversially are saying that maybe the interpreter is taking a fall for old Shohei. Hey, Otani, but either way, hats off to you, Otani. Losing four and a half uh, million to a. Uh, just sign. What are his contracts like? What did he just sign? Well, he only gets a drop two in the million a year, though. It's that is all true. deferred. That money. is true. Six hundred eighty million in deferral. So we'll see uh, how much the uh, <laughs> how much the bookie gets well, of that. And so, just so everyone's clear, genius move. Oh yeah. Defer all the money until you're not living in California anymore. And that way the Dodgers can stack this team, win a couple of World Series well, with the, you. The the old franchise tax board, and shout out to all all tax and government agencies. Love you guys doing great work. <laughs> um I don't want to be on any list. Uh, apparently, they are going after him for this deferral thing because they 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 go no, this is bull. You got to pay taxes on this now. So, uh, tough tough Sh- break for shout but- out shout out to Ipe. I mean, he was a high school baseball teammate of Shohei. They were really good friends, Sean. Uh, that just you know he's taking the fall for. I mean, uh, sorry. I hope I hope. I'm hoping that he recovers from his gambling addiction. <laughs> his uh, interpreter, yes. Uh, did you did you hear that he addressed the team, the Dodgers team? The uh, interpreter? Yes. Well, uh, here's what I would say. As someone who gambles a lot, and as someone who hangs out with people who gamble a lot, uh, if I found out Sean had $4.5 million in gambling debt and was like, oh, I had no idea. I, I would hope that someone would say bullshit. Yeah. Not only that, but the they, they already fucked up, and maybe they'll they'll blame Lost in Translation. But the original statement from a rep of Otani was that Otani felt bad for him. Yeah, and paid off this debt, but he knew about the gambling. Their, yeah, I don't think they got their story straight before they started talking <laughs> to the press. And uh, just to reiterate, for legal purposes, uh, No Beanick is the official show interpreter. So yeah. if there's any <laughs> if there's any issues, uh, you can head over to uh, No B. I did see the internet made some good jokes about if only Pete Rose had an interpreter. <laughs> an interpreter. All right, uh, let's get to it. We got a bunch of games to pick. We got our big bracket reveal. We got some March Madness futures, of course. You can get down on a ton of March Madness gambling over at cut.com. Use the promo code SGPN. Get a 10% deposit bonus. You can bet on whether a team uh, will make it to the round of 32. Although, you know, since the first four already started, uh, I think that, well, maybe you can still get in on it. But the first half unders, uh, that's a fun thing we're tracking right now. It's two and two. And you can come up with your own custom bets, of course. Of course, you're watching with your buddies. You don't want to lay a ton of juice to pay a to pay a ton of vig, just list your first half unders or overs over on cut.com. Save the juice and win money head to head. The best way to bet, go to cut.com, promo code SGPN. And of course, uh, get in on our March Madness pool contest, sportsgivenpodcast.com slash madness, up to two grand, uh, $2,000 up for grabs. Subscribers only, good times. I'll get in over there. And last but not least, Merch Madness, 15% off everything. Rocking the D-Gen University shirt. This thing is fire. Love it. Uh, Kramer, let's do it. Promo code MADNESS, 15% off everything. Uh, Mad- and by the way, I did have an encounter I wanted to share. I was, uh, we were down at the circuit today getting in. Uh, I was building on my girth. And just, uh, I, honestly, one of the most impressive. Long. Uh, Cox. Stacks of tickets I've ever had in my life, and it doesn't even include my digital tickets. I did want to give everyone a quick, uh, this is unrelated to my story, but I did, at Kramer Cetric if you want to follow oh, me, yes. but you probably can't <laughs> see it very well, but what this is, is this is the answer key. 
There's handwritten uh, pen all over this. I, I, I like the idea of uh, anthropologists or like archaeologists years from now uncovering <laughs> uncovering this document that's like buried in the sand in the desert somewhere. In the uh, thousands of years ago, they uh, they wrote this on these paper tablets uh, to Western cheer for their Kentucky sporting plus points. The, cheering for their different. <laughs> they used to uh, drink mead and watch their uh, athletes go head to head and and wager their digital uh, pieces of currency called we, dollars. We hypothesize they used heads as the ball. <laughs> yeah. Like they're just completely like making it all up. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Anyway, so I, I'm in line and I'm I'm next to some guys and I can tell that two buddies are are trying to coach the other guy into betting, mm. like teaching him what to say. And I'm like, first time. He's like, yeah. I go, what do you like? He goes, and he listed off a 16 parlay, and I was on the other side of everything. <laughs> and all, all I can think that of, feels so good. All I can think of was, oh my god, this feels great. Let <laughs> me oh guess, all the dogs. God. Uh, Samford was was in there. Oh yeah. wow! J right. James Madison was in there. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. worry. I think he was laying the points with Purdue or uh, one of the one seeds. That sounds like my bracket. Anyway, uh, all right. Let, let, let's talk. We we broke down the uh, what twenty eight games so far. Uh, we left out the first four leftovers, so we're gonna hit on those real quick. Uh, we're heading to tomorrow, Thursday, March twenty first. Charlotte, North Carolina, the one seed in the West. North Carolina taking on Wagner. The 16 seed, and once again, looking scrappy, even though they're playing seven or eight players. North Carolina laying 25, minus 6,500 on the money line. Uh, I believe Fezzik does not think this is a good price, so definitely don't lay the 6,500. Wagner to 20 to 1, 133 and a half is the total. First half under 63 and a half. Uh, I, I don't, it's a 116 seed. What are we going to do? I think, you, I think it's too many points. I mean, if you look at what Carolina did, like beat Radford by 16, you know, beat Lehigh by 22. Sorry, Sean. Uh, Bastards. Beat, beat Riverside <laughs> by 25. You know, like I just think it's – I I know that the numbers and St. Saint, St. Peter's uh, – I mean, not St. Peter's, um, Wagner's offense is just horrible. But I think you got to take it. The fact they even got the play-in game, I think you like too. I, I mean, I'm not ex super excited to, to run to the window for this one, but I'll take Wagner plus the points. <sighs> uh, this Wagner team is a fun watch. I'm not rooting against them. Uh, I don't – probably not live here matchup, on the 20-1, uh, on the to 1, but, you, you know, I had that nugget uh, when we were talking one seeds last time. When you, when you start talking 20-plus against the spread, it's just tough to cover. In fact, you know, just – Big spreads in general have been rough. Uh, anything over like 17 points seems to be uh, diminishing returns, especially with how the tournament's shaking out. And just in, in general, anything over 17 plus, I'm going to be looking well, for the dog unless I got a good angle. And I think you, if you also look at the fact that, you know, uh, Virginia finished third in the ACC, probably shouldn't have been over <laughs> Seton Hall or Providence. <laughs> And Not a great start for they, the ACC. They lost by 21 to Seton Hall. They lost by, what, 20... Uh, Actually, they lost by 34 to, to, to Providence. First, but, first round yeah. favorites of 13 and a half more uh, points or more have only enjoyed one winning ATS season. Uh, that was uh, in 2022. Uh, since, uh, you know, over this stretch, 39, 50, and one ATS. So last year they were two and five with uh, Arizona and Purdue losing outright. I'm, I'm just going to keep taping, taking the dogs here uh, with the, how crazy high this number is. Mac, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to lay it. I, I, I think the Wagner, the vacuum company, it's been a good run, a bunch of upsets, but I think Carolina here, they're coming off the loss to NC State where they were embarrassed. I'll lay it. They blow it open late, win by 30. They have seven players, Sean. Remember those games where yeah. we only had six or seven yeah. players in the rec squad and we went against a really good team and we all got really tired quickly <laughs> and we maybe hung in there for a little bit. The uh, next thing you know, the, it's a 35 point game. The seven player handicap has been haunting them uh, with <laughs> the first four kids. games. Yeah, these, they're, they're from Staten Island, right? They're just, they suck in CO2 left and right since they're born. It's, it's like an elevation advantage. <laughs> Their air quality is so poor yeah. when they leave, when they leave. The... It, it's, yes. It's like going from elevation and going down. What are you doing, Ryan? I'm laying the points. Obviously <laughs> okay. laying 25. I'm on team Ryan. Noah Let's rapid go. fire. What do you like? You kind of have to pick and choose which teams you want to take the momentum with coming out of the first four here. Uh, cocktail napkin agrees with Sean here. It likes the, the trends and the cocktail napkin has uh, Wagner plus 19 and a half. The offensive stats are ugly. Don't look at them, but the last four games they've won four in a row and they've looked really good offensively. So let's go. It's, it's yes, hard, to, hard to determine how they're going to show up, but I'll take the Seahawks. 
I, I have a feeling the cocktail napkin often likes the 16 seed, the 116 matchup. That, that's generally how the numbers work. 3.50 p.m. on the West Coast Thursday. Charlotte, North Carolina for another uh, matchup here. This time in the Midwest region, 7-10 matchup between Colorado State from the Mountain West and Texas from the Pac-12. Big 12. Or Big 12, sorry. <laughs> yeah, get him Te- out of here. Texas, see. horns yeah. down. Oh, te- Mac, you're really going to be torn here. Are you going to keep <laughs> – now, do you like? Do you also like SEC because they support everyone in their conference and you, do that, for the big, <laughs> you do that for the Big 12? Or uh, what are we doing here? No, no, no. We, we actually, draw the line we, somewhere? We actually represent the people. The SEC is uh, corrupt. Just like the Big Ten. Uh, horns down. Horns uh, down. Colorado State, baby, all oh, day. They're, they're a fun team. And we'll, we'll talk about it more when we talk bracket. But, uh, I mean, th- don't, let the, don't let the Rams get hot, Ryan. Texas yeah. is laying two and a half, one, minus 140 on the money line. Dollar twenty for Colorado State. 144 is the total. First half under 67 and a half. You know, when, when looking at this part of the bracket, it's like, oh, well, one of these teams has to get through to the Sweet 16s. And we love the Mountain West. I, I do think... I'm probably going to regret fading Max A. Smith's here because every time I fade him, he just has some sort of superhuman performance. I mean, he is a fun guy to watch. But I got to take our guys. Isaiah Stevens, the Rams, love Fort Collins, love Colorado. I'm wearing a – it does say Catalina on it, but it is a Buffalo, so I'm (laughs) – or a Bison, I apologize. So I'm on uh, on the Rams. Uh, What what about you, Colby? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I, I love the fact you got the game out of the way. And Texas, you know, has all the pressure in the world. You know, Rodney Terry probably should have got to the national championship game a year ago. Um, and, you know, they, he had a great year. They extended him. But I think that was this is a really talented team. They've kind of underachieved. All the pressure is on Texas in this matchup. Colorado State already got the win out of there. They got the best player on the court in Isaiah Stevens. I also think that uh, just the fact the way Colorado State plays defense could be, a, you know, they chart better than Texas, surprisingly. Uh, and 38th ranked offense. You saw Colorado State win yeah. uh, against what at, at was that at Creighton, I believe, earlier in this year. Uh, I think that mm-hmm. it shows you they can go up against top teams and get that dub. Give me, give me the Rams, Mac. Yeah, I like Colorado State. Um, the, Texas will be the only Big 12 team I don't pick. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, yes. no buys. But it's got well, Oklahoma somewhere. didn't make it. I, I, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> oh, you down. Um, but I love the guard matchup here. You got Stevens versus A. Smith. But we're getting the better coach. I think Stevens is a little bit better than Max A. Smith. Um, and Colorado State got the game out of the way. And I think they, the, the NBA scouts would agree with you. Yeah, and also the Mountain West prepared uh, Colorado State for this game, in my opinion. And it's a look ahead for Texas because they're thinking about Rick Barnes on deck, potentially oh, yeah. their oh. former coach. So give me the Rams. I like that Ram angle. It. Sean. Yeah, no, Colorado State all day. Uh, System play. <laughs> no, yeah. I, they, they've been a fun team. Uh, they, they've had some close losses where I felt boned, but I've been I've been auto playing this Rams team for a long time. Colby mentioned what I liked out of. Uh, I mean, they played really good defense against Virginia. I know it's uh, you know no one's going to give any credit for, for them because it is Virginia, but that was like a historically low uh, offensive performance from a Tony Bennett team. That yeah, I get it. They're no juggernaut, but. I mean, they, they, they almost held them to like 40 points in a tournament game. That, to me, is pretty crazy. I think defense uh, will, uh, will win the day, and I like what I saw out of their offense. No, what do you got? Uh, basically, Colby and Mac took most of the handicap that I wanted to say, so <clears throat> I'm going to retweet what they said. Also going to add what Mac has been talking about for the last month, and he didn't mention it here, so I'll do it for him. Uh, he mentioned that Mountain West has kind of built Colorado State up for this. A reason why a lot of people like to fade Mountain West here in the March is because a lot of the home environments are really, really good. Well, that kind of uh, hurt Colorado State going on the road, losing so many games. This this time around, this team's going to benefit when they get out of conference play. This is a team that I have making a little uh, bit of a And you know all of Charlotte is going to be rooting for Colorado State. Oh, That's yeah. going to be a Carolina crowd. And Tennessee. Yeah. I'm on the Rams. Yeah, and Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I love this. I love that we're uh, – hopefully we haven't done something horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and mushed our, our sweet, sweet Colorado State Rams – uh, worth noting also, Sean, and maybe you don't know this, but Rodney Terry is a Cowboys fan. So, oh. horns down. Colorado, Florida, the 10 7 matchup in the South region. We're heading to Indianapolis, Indiana. Wonder if they have time for some shrimp cocktail. Friday, 1 30 p.m. on the West Coast. Florida laying one and a half, minus 125 on the money line. Colorado plus 105. 160 and a half is the total. I didn't see the first halves open yet. I'm projecting it at 76. 
Uh, boy, I, I think I was hoping Colorado would win that playing game so I could parlay it into that mechanical style that they call uh, and take them again here. I'm surprised that the line wasn't a touch bigger, mm-hmm. but uh, as, as Colby's going to probably get to here, uh, we'll, we'll ride Simpson for one more game here. Yes, uh, OJ's son is a stud, and uh, <laughs> Dog. I'm, I'm on the Buffs. I, I, I think the Buffs are a team that, you know, we, I, we're going to see one of these play-in teams go deep, uh, and I think it's maybe, maybe two. Maybe it's both Colorados, but I, I, I just watched them the past two weeks, and I'm like, this it's starting to, to turn into the team I thought they could be. I think they're super dangerous. I think their roster is Final Four good, and – to me, I can't the, – the fact that they've, they've only lost one in, the, in, like, what, the final six or seven games. I know Florida was hot, made the SEC championship. But I just think Colorado has a better roster than Florida. Yeah. And I, I think – give me the better roster. Yes, I have questions about Todd Boyle, but I also have questions about Todd Golden. Wait, uh, is it Todd or Tad? Uh, Tad Boyle. Tad. I was trying to say Todd Golden. Um, <laughs> Todd Golden is a hack. Well, I, I, I said up. just watching yeah. Tad, he looks like such a Tad. I, I, like, I, 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 Colorado's got a much better defense. You saw what they did today. And I think K.J. Simpson is the difference in the game. I think that guy is just very, very underrated in terms of college basketball. And, uh, yeah, give me the buffs to get it done. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but we watched it at the end of the game. There was a bunch of one-on-ones when we were white-knuckling that cover late. There was a bunch of 50-50 balls. Yeah, they got a couple breaks, but they hit their free throws. They hit the front end of those one-on-ones. They're 78.1% from the line. How can you fade them in a close game with this kind of momentum, with their, I mean, effective field goal percentage, 20th in the nation? Buffs ride. Let's go. Mac. Yeah, um, so either way, I was going to take whoever won this game because I, I, I love Boise, too, and I thought that was a hell of a win for Colorado because I didn't think Colorado played that well tonight. They have veterans. Defensively, they played good, though. Yeah, yeah. But, but I felt like offensively they were sloppy, they were tight because all the pressure was on them because yeah. this is supposed to be a really good team. Simpson, De Silva, Lampkin. I think they got it out of the way. They're going to play free, and I agree. I think they have a better roster than Florida, and Florida's coming off four games and four nights or four days, whatever you want to say. They had an injury. Uh, I love the buffs here. Let's go. Noah. You're, 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 He's wearing a Cater shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Get along. Just buckle up for the ride. I, I, a lot of people are mentioning the Micah Hanlockton uh, injury, and uh, rightfully so. That was a brutal injury, and they, I think they lost the game. They lost all the momentum when that happened. The team morale was low. Uh, they're going to go out, and they're going to make a little bit of run for him. He was a rotation player, though. Like A lot of people are <clears throat> coming out and saying like this guy meant so much to them. They still got Alex Condon. They still got Tyree Sand- Samuel up there in the front court. Uh, they got plenty of depth up there. I'm not worried about that. And also the strength of this Colorado team is the guard play. Well, Florida has just as good, maybe even better guards. No, uh, no, 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 Walter no, Clayton, no. Zion Poland, Will Richard, and Riley Kugel, KJ the fourth Simpson's one. better than all of them. Riley better Kugel than all is the them. NBA prospect, and he's the fourth best no, guard no, on this no, team no. for the Gators. I love Florida's draw here in the tournament. I got them making a run. Let's go Kramer. Gators. I feel like I I have not been impressed with Florida all year. There, I'm, so if anything, it's a bit of an enigma. But kind of like what Max said, I, I we what is what are the commandments, Sean? The commandments tell us that one of these playing teams is going to win a game mm-hmm. and advance to the round of thirty-two. And for my money, it's one of these Colorado teams. Yes. And so, um, not just spraying the board, but I I certainly like Colorado more than Florida. But again, I I could be one of those teams. I'm just blind on the um, last. The last thing I'll add, I'm sorry if I interrupted you, Kramer. Uh, all, all year long, <laughs> <laughs> I was voicing my uh, just kind of concern around Florida because they weren't able to play on the road, away from home. They dominated at the O-Dome. However, that's been a real concern. Going on that little bit of a run in the SEC tournament game, you can blame the loss on the injury. I really liked what I saw from Florida on the neutral floor. Uh, hopefully, Noah has a chance to take a lady to the O-Dome later in the trip. <laughs> well, there were some... Um, the show before us uh, had some... Uh, like some kids got to call their dorm room. The, o- the, O-Dome. the O-Dome. Welcome to the O-Dome. Oh, my God. Uh, there was a show recording uh, in the studio uh, before us. I-, I-, I can't recall the name or who was involved, but uh, there were some uh, ladies that walked by. Uh, the-, the-, the people recording said, hey, come on into the uh, back area. They came in. They thought I was the one who let them in. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, another uh, person on the uh, on the team here that had let them in, and they were like trying to give me their number to pass it along to 
the uh, talent that may or uh, may not have waved them in. And I was thinking in the back of my head, it would have been the ultimate move to take these uh, ladies' numbers and then go like, Noah, uh, there were some super fans coming by. They really dig uh, college baseball picks. Uh, but ultimately, I was just like, ah, I don't. I really had no idea what was going on. Uh, we got it sorted. So, in, in the time of concern, I really appreciate you thinking of me, Sean. Well, well I did. They they did seem to be really into Clemson baseball, so it just seemed like a match. Uh, all right, one more game to get to. Grambling, who chicks bought- dig the long ball is what I is what I uh, put together. And here. the Odo. They the did Odo. The Odo. Those chicks wanted to go to the Odo, a one hundred percent. Grambling, who, by the way, I mean, what a choke job by Montana State. Uh, uh, look, I'm one hundred percent. Colby, make a note for next year. We're out on the big sky, or at least we're out on Montana State. We're all we're all Grizzlies fans going forward. Uh, Grambling now heads uh, to take on Purdue and Indy. Tough Uh-oh. matchup here. Four twenty-five on the West Coast. Sixteen verse one in the Midwest. Purdue laying twenty-six minus twenty thousand. <laughs> On the money line, Fezzik all over it. No, well, Fezzik likes this up to minus thirty thousand. Yeah, so yeah, this is this is deal. actually this is like getting eggs for fifty percent <laughs> off. Grambling plus thirty five hundred, one thirty five and a half is the total. Projecting the first half under to be sixty five. Uh, I mean, again, I, I I know how I know that we have a Purdue stand in the room, uh, but I I kind of do think uh, this is the. This is the kind of game that Purdue can can do do fine with, right? It's not like they've had trouble dealing with a completely outmatched athletically team in the past uh, who had zero chance to win the game. So, Colby, any chance for Grambling to get the upset here? First tournament win ever, by the way. Shout out to Which, that. Do they Shout count the playing games? It should, they should count okay. it. They because do. let me tell you, these schools have been ripped off for a long time. All right? A long time they've been ripped off. They do a deep dive on that. I think the state of Tennessee owes Tennessee State about $300 million. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, shout out to Grambling getting their first win. I hope they can build on that momentum. It's a bad spot for them, though. <laughs> bad, really bad spot for them, especially considering the way they lost a year, uh, you know, the way that, you know, Purdue's season went a year ago. Uh, it's in Indianapolis there, whatever they're calling that stadium now. And uh, I, think, I think it's just uh, you got to lay the points here. I mean, I just think that they're going to get this one out of the way. Shout out to the Grambling season, but they're going to get drilled by 30 or 40, I think. It's tough because I keep liking these uh, number one, you know, fading number one seeds when they're laying kind of these historically big numbers. But there is a sweet spot when it comes to the number one seeds, and it's that 19 to 25. Um, or sorry, 19 to 25 is the bad spot. But if they're, if it's like short of 13 or short of 19, like lower, that's good. But even I think at the point of no return after 25 and this Grambling team just didn't pass the eye test in any way, shape or form. I mean, FDU, uh, FDU looked a lot better in the playing game. Am I, am I wrong, Colby? Like what happened in, F- who did FDU beat? Who was it last year? Well, they didn't beat uh, anyone in their conference tournament. Yeah. I think Mary that'd be Mac- Corpus Christi. That yeah, true. you're right. Corpus you know Christi. what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, now that I think about it, Purdue lost to a team that didn't even win their conference tournament. Give me Gramlin. <laughs> Tw- plus 26 all day. No, they beat Texas taking- Southern. Oh, either, even uh, better. It was Texas Southern. I'm, okay. not, I'm not taking Purdue under any circumstances. Uh, for a real quick trivia question, Sean. How many players uh, does Grambling have that are taller than six foot eight. Oh Lord, this is the FDU stat Twelve. last year. <laughs> One. And he doesn't play a ton. But that's how Purdue's lost recently. Yeah. St. Oh, yeah. Peter's did this. Oh yeah. They ran four guards. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's fairly Dickinson did they this. They gotta be ready for it this year, right? The, the I this, year, so. this year's different. There's no way they're gonna be down two in the second half and get really tense. There's no way. <laughs> And I got a lot of feedback on um, my use of the word uh, butthole. So uh, I don't know if I should use it more or less. It seems like the fans uh, like when I describe uh, buttholes being really tight. I thought that was a normal sports expression, Ryan. Uh, we, yeah, we did get uh, one of our few female listeners uh, pointed out that the, they wanted to caution the audience that <laughs> don't lift a heavy object while listening yeah. to this part of the program at the 40 minute mark. You're going to hear butthole <laughs> uh, emphasis on the hole. All right. So um, you're taking the point, Sean Colby's yep. laying the points. What are you doing, Mac? Oh, I'm all over grambling. Oh. You remember Virginia after the year after they lost to UMBC, they were down 15 to Gardner Webb in the first half. Yes, those fucking buttholes, as Sean would say, <laughs> are going to be tight tomorrow. I think they're going to they're going to get out of there alive. But Grambling's coming in there and playing with house money. I'm not fucking laying this number with Purdue. What I mean, it's not just uh, it's not just Fair Dick last year. It was St. Pete. 
It was North, North Texas. Texas. Yeah. It's all the little guys. So uh, you got to prove it to me, Purdue. I will take the points gladly. Oh, boy. I, I was going to just say lay the points. I'll lay the points. Uh, come on. I, I looked at the height of this team. <laughs> Zach Eady revenge tour Long starts now. Cox. No, 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 no. All right. Noah, so, real quick, what do you got? So the way these little teams beat Purdue is they let actually Zach Eady eat, and they make the guards make shots from the perimeter. And if they're not making their shots, that's when Purdue gets into trouble. Um, the Grambling head coach, Colby, I don't know if you could save me or not. I'm drawing a blank on his name. In the postgame interview, he's gonna throw, he said, we're going to throw the house, we're going to throw the backyard, we're going to throw the whole community at Zach Eady. Basically, what they're going to intend to do is just hack away um, and, hope for, and hope for those Dante, neutral yeah. referees to call fouls. However, Grambling played six teams in the non-conference that are in the NCAA tournament. They lost by 12 at Drake. They lost by 18 at Washington State. They lost by 30 at Dayton. They lost by 32 at Colorado. They lost by 39 at Florida, and they lost by 55 at Iowa State. Give me Purdue. Nice. I knew no one was going to do that. Nice close job. The nerve man. for him to bring up the officials when it comes to Purdue. <laughs> I know. Is it nerve? Is it the nerve? Fucking... <laughs> Isn't that the reason you take Purdue? They're, they got They got the sixth man? And the seventh man they and the eighth man. They, they certainly do. I will and say, as a, as a TMZ fan, that, uh, that Zach Eady uh, block where he just ran over that dude, <laughs> that's, that was one of the funniest college basketball. Because what, what, what I don't think caught enough steam on the internet, and by the way, I found that this ref has a fan account on X. Yes, but Jeffrey Anderson. Jeffrey Anderson, who's the high-stepping ref, yeah. was also officiating that game. And by the way, if you're not following, there is a fan account that just posts pictures of him doing high steps on the <laughs> yeah, court. Yes. Yeah. Fucking awesome. High knees. <laughs> One of the things, though, I, I feel like, no, you didn't key in on was Painter has been so bad at adjustments. St. Peter's pressed that whole game, and he didn't. It's like he had never seen a press in his life. I, I was shocked he never caught a timeout. It, it was, to me, just completely outcoached in all those games. Same with the North Texas game. Look, I'm on Purdue, but I'm terrified of the X's and sure O's and in, in-game adjustments. They, they've dealt with the press the entire year. It. That's yeah. been the, the book the out on Purdue were, all this year, and the, they've done just fine. The Americans, they were sitting there, and we walked right into the trap. I, I knew I had a bad <laughs> feeling about, about going against these Americans. I loved uh, England. They were a massive favorite. Sure, I'm on England, but, man, they, these, they were hiding in the woods. <laughs> Cooper, I don't think Rambling's as good as Fairly Dickinson or North Texas. Or, or America. Uh, or America. Or America. Or U.S. Yeah. Uh, America's a big dog. I saw that Cole. Colby was whispering uh, to the Redcoats, it's one if by land, two if by sea. <laughs> hey, uh, have you guys signed up over at Game Time? Uh, speaking of prime, Deion Sanders, one of the greatest running backs in Colorado Buffs history. Uh, you can see him live. You can see college basketball, college football right around the corner. You got the we, we MLB. Maybe you're, maybe you're heading over to Seoul, Korea to watch uh, Shohei Otani, or maybe you're going over there to collect some money from his interpreter. Uh, if you're his bookie, you can go to gametime.co, use the promo code SGPN, get $20 off, which, uh, again, if someone owes you $4.5 million, you might need to pinch some pennies. Promo code SGPN. Sign up. It's, it's so easy to use. Mobile friendly. Very easy. Uh, download the Game Time app. Use the promo code SGPN. And uh, champs, still time to set up your pool over at sportsgamingpodcast.com slash champs. Get in over there. Sign up. You get two free entries if you host your pool with champs for a chance to win 1000 bucks. And uh, their contest is actually Sweet 16 only. So if you sign up for it, uh, wait for that. Uh, wait for the the Sweet 16 teams to be revealed, and then you can enter. But you can you can get two free entries again. Sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash champs. Ryan, do we want to? Uh... Yeah, bonus lock. Okay, bonus lock. What do you got? I mean, unless you're not into a bonus lock. No, I don't. You're not into like a bonus that. lock. Uh, I I I like both Colorado spots. Okay. I'm not going to mess around with the 116 matchups. You know, it's not something I like to do. It's uh, I'm not into that kind of stuff. But I, I think after watching the game tonight, I will say, or the game tonight compared to the game yesterday, I, it's hard for me to not want to just take Colorado State. I feel like I have a little bit more confidence with them. I think Colby's right about Colorado in, t- in terms of the upside all the way, like in the, as from a bracket standpoint. But uh, give me Colorado State. And, Sean, I love them in a six-point teaser, getting through all those key numbers. <laughs> no, do not tease any basketball. The, the TCE chat's going to hate me now. Like, I don't get it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Colorado State plus two and a half. You know uh, what I'm doing, Colby? Have you ever been salmon fishing? 
See what you do uh, is no. It's it's a typical. If you ever been tuna fishing, you troll. You got the lure behind the boat. You're driving fast, so the lure is up. When up, I get on a boat, I just get surface. fucked up. Well, exactly. <laughs> but with salmon fishing, what you do is you drop. You, they wait the lure, and you drop the lure all the way to the bottom, and you troll around with this hook. And that's what I'm doing to your chat right now, hoping to hook a couple of these fools. <laughs> well, right. They might not realize you're, uh, you know, you're being, you're, you're joking around. They might not pick up. Uh, it's a CTE podcast. They might, you know, Serious? Yes. It's too serious. <laughs> they, they, might, they might not understand but, your Which, joking. by the way, if, uh, another, I recommend another follow. Antonio Brown, if uh, you're not CTE following. CTE SPN. 100% of his, his uh, posts on X are related to head-related trauma or blowjobs. So he's got Well, that. he gets it. He gets it. It's all about <laughs> head. Like, that, all is, about yeah, head. that is great content. Yeah. Shout out to... Uh, Bowser hanging out with Bowser uh, today. We did a last man, uh, the Station Casinos last man standing contest where you pick ATS uh, winners, Ryan. So we were playing a bunch of our locks from the uh, w Nevada made the card, and 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 Bowser is hesitant, but that's fine. Feel good about Nevada. That's fine. I mean, I can see why if I I could see why Alfred would be something you wouldn't like. <laughs> If you were uh, a UCLA fan. Yes. So. I, I could see why. Anyway, Trump Colorado does. State, give me the Rams. And once again, check out Fort Collins. Beautiful town. I'm with you. I love the Rams here. I'm going to go uh, Colorado State money line, Ryan. I know you took the two and a half points. I don't need it. Give me the, give me the Rams on the money line. Lock in a dog all rolled up into one. <laughs> Colby, what do you got? Uh, I mean, let's do a little Colorado two-step. Right? <laughs> shout, shout out to uh, some of the fans over there. Uh, <laughs> Dick, Dick, uh, yeah, and, and you know Dick Olson in the house. Dick, allegedly, allegedly, he did have a boxing glove. He also uh, kept wanting us to play a scene from the movie The Campaign, uh, which legally we're not allowed to do. Uh, but that did not stop him. <laughs> He's back for. <laughs> and he and he was uh, messing around with the boxing glove. So good times. Can't wait to hang out with that guy later. <laughs> I heard I heard Sean as quick as I heard Sean telling a story to someone. I think you were talking about Adderall and you're like, yeah, it's mostly garbage. I don't know why they give it out to so many people, but I do know this one guy who actually needs it and it's totally <laughs> serious. Like he definitely needs it. It's it, it, yeah. but no one else needs it. Uh, shout out to Dick Olson. Uh, wait, are we doing a uh, parlay too? I mean, whatever because you we can do whatever. that Colorado two step. Well, I'm going to lock up, I'm going to lock up, uh, uh, Purdue minus the points, but do a Colorado oh, wow. parlay after that. I'm in. Let's okay. go. Put down a little parlay here. Uh, Mac, what do you got? What's a lock? Uh, I'm going the Buffs. I, I I like the Buffs matchup against Florida. I think they're more physical. Um, and Todd Golden's never won an NCAA tournament game, so give me the more experienced coach, less pressure, and future Big Twelve member. Nah. Welcome to the league, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Even then, we're he's laying, laying groundwork. Yeah. No, I assume. In, in fairness, they were in the Big Twelve they were already. Former yeah. Yeah. and okay. future. They're back. Yes. Noah, I assume you're locking up Florida. Yes, Jackson okay. from uh, Sports Gambling Podcast uh, live chat. I am old enough to drink. No, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm taking Colorado State, the Rams. Oh, wow. Go. All right. That's the just lock. Ram it. Well, you wore the T-shirt. Yeah, Sean, he, he might be benedicting already. <laughs> uh, I mean, when you, when you mentioned how uh, Noah is a younger Colby, I, I, it's moments like these where he said <laughs> he's, he's wearing the Gator shirt, but he's locking up Colorado State. It's like stages, right? You have Colby, then you have Noah, then you have white tiger my, my no, clientele no, no, no. deserve winners <laughs> <laughs> i love that uh, all right it's Kramer. a different clientele you'll be hanging out with later this week <laughs> oh lord uh hey our, bra our big bracket <laughs> reveal is brought to you by underdog fantasy of course use the promo code sgpn get a 100 percent deposit match up to 100 dollars uh so fun getting down on the higher lower it's college basketball add a little spice to your life yeah, sure, you got your bets, you got your brackets, but why not a little uh, college uh, fantasy projections, a.k.a. higher, lower? You can win up to 100x. Noah, I know you've been uh, firing away. Is there any uh, college basketball higher lowers you like that are coming up? Yeah, shout out to TVDBJ in the chat. Uh, oh. He just gave me a great angle that I wasn't even thinking of. Uh, Michigan State's front court is just embarrassing, bad, embarrassingly bad, especially on the glass. Tolu Smith, the big man from Mississippi State, higher than eight and a half rebounds. That one seems too easy. I like that, and I, I, for, Trevor's been in our chat before. I did not know he went by Trevor uh, VDBJ. So shout out to him. Oh yeah. Uh, no, but uh, one more. You want one? Well, Cannabis Capper's been doing a great job. Yeah. On this Stuff over and, at SportsGamblingPodcast.com. We got a bunch of underdog uh, entry uh, information. Picks. Uh, does he no, cap basketball was, too? He does. He does. Okay. He's been doing great work over there. And uh, 
Yeah, I just realized it was for uh, it was for tonight's game. I, I think I, he, he had DM swept. me to I, who to play tonight. I think he swept today's yeah. slate too. Yeah, and, and we took we took KJ Simpson, OJ Simpson's son, uh, and that that cash late with those free throws. Yep. The the higher on on KJ Simpson, the thirty two year old senior. <laughs> well, just doing the math because Nicole Brown's his mom, and uh, yeah, you do the math. Uh, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code SGPN Kramer. You want to reveal your bracket first, or are you scared? Do you have uh, do you, do you have like bracket sage fright? No, but I I, am, I did. I am. You'll prepared. notice uh, Ryan's holding two uh, brackets because he had a fucking rough draft bracket <laughs> that he was filling out at Saginaw no, no, Delhi. No, 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 no. And it's no. rough draft in big uh, big <laughs> letters up top. No, no, no. The the rough draft was during the shows when we were when we were doing the picks. No, so no. Just for me to write down. <laughs> this is the pretty final draft. I, I, you want me to go first? I'll go first. Yes. Starting in the East region, aka the Yukon region. Uh, I have UConn over Stetson. I have Northwestern over FAU. SDSU takes down UAB. Auburn over Yale. BYU over Duquesne. Moorhead State, because who doesn't like Moorhead, over Illinois. Drake over Washington State. Iowa State over South Dakota State. Iowa State's become a a public uh, fade candidate uh, here. Uh, next round, UConn advances over Northwestern. Auburn over San Diego State. Uh, RIP to our gals. BYU over Moorhead State, which interesting uh, dynamic there for the Soakers. Drake over Iowa State. Drake takes down BYU and heads to the Elite Eight to take on not UConn. Give me Auburn away from the jungle. They caused some havoc there. Auburn over J- Drake to win the East region and enter the Final Four. Going down to the South or the they West. sold you a Buick. So, oh, well, we'll see. Uh, I think Bruce Paul, Pearl's uh, Buick times are uh, coming up. This is, this is his year. He's a content, He's on the contender list. It's one of the three teams that can take UConn down. UNC over Wagner in the West region. Then we got Hale State over Michigan State to kick off the tournament tomorrow morning. Grand Canyon takes down St. Mary's. Bama takes down College of Charleston. New Mexico upsets Clemson, although it's not really an upset, guys, because they're favored. Baylor over Colgate. Nevada over Dayton. And Arizona over Long Beach State, who apparently uh, cut the uh, medical benefits to their coach because he's been fired. Uh, it seems like a pretty fucked up situation. UNC uh, advances over Mississippi State, a.k.a. Hale State. Grand Canyon over Bama. A little, a little spiciness there. New Mexico over Baylor. Shout out to the Lobos making the Sweet 16. That's plus 250, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Arizona over Nevada, and then we got UNC over Grand Canyon, Arizona over New Mexico, so we have the Caleb Love rematch, Arizona, UNC, it's being played in Los Angeles, that feels disrespectful to the one seed here, Arizona gets the upset over North Carolina, Final Four, and by the way, the Final Four is being played in Arizona, guys, all right, let's move over to the South, Houston over Longwood, Texas A&M over Nebraska, Wisconsin over JMU, Duke over Vermont, Texas Tech over NC State, although I do hope that uh, basketball, uh, men's basketball Lizzo has a great performance. Kentucky loses to Oakland. Florida goes down to Colorado, and Western Kentucky takes down Shaka Smart and Marquette. Houston wow. over Texas A&M. Wisconsin goes down to Duke. Texas Tech takes down Oakland. Colorado takes down Western Kentucky. Houston over Duke into the Elite Eight, and I'm going to make a late swap here. Colorado over oh, Texas yeah. Tech into the Elite Eight, and Houston takes them down to win the South region and go to the Final Four. I do think this is Samson's, this is Samson's year. Let me talk to Samson. I do want to talk why, to Samson. Why even have a rough draft if you're going to uh, – if you're going <laughs> to – what am I doing? What's wrong? No, you had a rough draft, and then you're st- and then you're still correcting your final draft. Because this is the one thing. As a, okay. the late developing stuff happened, I realized I like Colorado. Colby sold me on the upside of the roster. Go fuck yourself, Midwest. Woo! How dare you, Ryan? Per- How Purdue, dare Purdue you? Purdue over Grambling in a, in a in a complete blowout. Uh, Utah State over TCU. Gonzaga over McNeese. And Will Wade gets a strong ass offer from Louisville. Kansas over Samford, Oregon over South Carolina, Akron takes down Crichton, a.k.a. Creighton. Colorado State takes down Horns down, and Tennessee gets it done over St. Peter's. Purdue over Utah State, Gonzaga over Kansas, Oregon over Akron, and Tennessee over Colorado State. 
Oregon takes down Tennessee in the Sweet 16 to get to the Elite Eight. Purdue goes down to the Zags, where the Zags will defeat Oregon and advance to the Final Four. My Final Four, Auburn, Arizona, Houston, Gonzaga. Arizona takes down Auburn. Houston takes down Gonzaga. Houston, national championship. Let's go. I like it. And, and for those who are wondering... Uh, everyone on the desk, I, I'm not going to speak for you, Noah. Everyone on the desk is a grown man and will be filling out one bracket only. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, if I have to hear one more person tell me about their fourth bracket. <laughs> well, in that one, uh, in that scenario, I, have... I I am a firm believer in nine brackets and seven different pools. Oh, uh, so good. Uh, you got so much. Young people have so much energy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's my bracket. Uh, in the East, I got UConn winning. I got Northwestern winning. I got San Diego State winning. I got Auburn winning. I got BYU moving on. I got Moorhead State beating Illinois outright. Drake uh, takes down the Cougs. Iowa State takes out down the Jackrabbits. Iowa State beats Drake. BYU beats Moorhead State. Auburn takes down our gals. UConn takes down Northwestern. But Auburn takes down Ooh. UConn. BYU beats Iowa State. Auburn beats BYU, and Auburn wins the East. Next up, we got the West. You got, you got a Buick, too? What the hell is going on here? Smash! UNC uh, takes down Wagner, although it's close. Uh, Michigan State uh, wins against Mississippi State, obviously. Grand Canyon beats St. Mary's. Charleston upsets Alabama. New Mexico beats Clemson. Baylor beats Colgate. Nevada beats Dayton. And Arizona beats Long Beach State barely. Uh, Nevada upsets <laughs> Arizona. Uh, and Baylor beats New Mexico. Grand Canyon takes down Charleston. Michigan State shocks the world, beats UNC. Uh, Grand Canyon beats Michigan State. Baylor beats <laughs> Nevada. Baylor wins the West. Whoa, that's spicy. What's spicy about that? Baylor's What's a, spicy about Baylor's that? Baylor's a three seed. Tom, is, Tom is though to the Sweet 16. Both spicy. Kramer oh, and Sean taking Grand Canyon. My sister had Grand Canyon in the Final Four. Only four. Uh, upsets of the she shot. Though, I'm just, what so. did Bruce Pearl do? Who got the Cutlass Supreme? Smash! Uh, you've seen my my ex profile. I, <laughs> I got a hell of a cut. In the South, I got Houston beating Longwood, Nebraska beating Texas A&M, JMU beating Wisconsin, Duke beating Vermont, Texas Tech beating NC State, Oaktown shocking the world and beating Kentucky, Colorado beating Florida, Western Kentucky beating Marquette, upset City. And then I have uh, Western Kentucky losing to Colorado. Colorado moves on to the Sweet 16. Texas Tech beats Oakland. Duke beats JMU. Houston beats Nebraska. Houston beats Duke. Texas Tech beats Colorado. And Houston wins the South. Moving on to the Midwest. We got Purdue winning, barely. Utah State winning. Gonzaga beating McNeese. Kansas moves on past Sanford although uh, they do not cover the spread. South Carolina beats Oregon. Creighton beats Akron. Texas uh, loses to Colorado State. Tennessee beats St. Peter's. But Colorado State and the Rams upset Rick Barnes. USC, a.k.a. South Carolina, beats Creighton. Gonzaga beats Kansas. Utah State beats Purdue. Gonzaga beats Utah State. And uh, South Carolina makes it to the Elite Eight, where they lose to Gonzaga. Gonzaga wins the Midwest. Gonzaga and Houston square off. Gonzaga makes it to the national championship. Auburn and Baylor square off. Auburn makes it to the national championship because Auburn is your Whoa. national champion. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Can you imagine Bruce Pearl in a world where he? <laughs> I told both Cameron. That car is fully loaded. Both right? Cameron and Mace liked my uh, Auburn prediction. That's true. That's true. They did. Um, Smash! Colby, let it rip. <laughs> All right. UConn beats Stetson. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> Florida Atlantic takes down Northwestern. Uh, UAB pulls the upset on San Diego State. Auburn beats Yale. Uh, BYU ekes it out against Duquesne. Uh, the Illini get it done against Moorhead State. Drake upsets the Cougs of Washington State. Iowa State handles South Dakota State. Uh, after that, UConn does uh, take down FAU in a close one. Uh, Auburn handles Alabama, uh, Birmingham, UAB. Uh, BYU beats Illinois. Uh, Iowa State handles Drake. And then after that, uh, Iowa State beats BYU. UConn beats Auburn, and I have Iowa State beating UConn to go to the Final Four. Uh, in, in the uh, West, Carolina beats uh, Wagner. 
Uh, Michigan State beats Mississippi State. Grand Canyon gets the upset on St. Mary's. Bama beats Charleston. New Mexico takes down Clemson. Baylor takes down Colgate. Uh, Nevada beats Dayton. Arizona beats Nevada. Uh, North Carolina then beats Michigan State. Alabama beats Grand Canyon. Uh, Baylor does beat New Mexico. Nevada upsets Arizona. Nevada then beats Baylor. And then North Carolina beats Alabama. And then Nevada knocks off North Carolina. And Steve Alford and what? the Wolfpack are in the final four. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Holy shit. In the South, oh. Houston <laughs> takes down Longwood. Uh, Texas A&M beats Nebraska. James Madison does take out Wisconsin. Duke rolls Vermont. Texas Tech beats the Pussy Pack. Kentucky handles Oakland. Colorado upsets Florida. Marquette gets, ba- gets past Western Kentucky in a close one. Uh, Houston beats A&M. Duke beats JMU. Uh, Kentucky beats Texas Tech. Colorado upsets Marquette. Uh, then Houston beats Duke. Colorado upsets Kentucky. Nice. Uh, then Houston beats Colorado to go to the Final Four in the South. In the Midwest, Purdue gets past Grambling. TCU beats Utah State. Gonzaga knocks off McNeese. Kansas handles Samford. South Carolina uh, gets past Oregon. Creighton beats Akron. Colorado State upsets Texas. Tennessee beats St. Peter's. I then have TCU beating Purdue. Woo! Yes. There it is. I have Gonzaga beating Kansas. I have Creighton beating South Carolina. I have Tennessee beating Colorado State. Then I have Tennessee beating Creighton. And I have Gonzaga beating TCU. And I have Gonzaga beating Tennessee and going to the final wow. four. Three uh, zags. In the final four, I have Iowa State taking down Nevada and Iowa State moving along to the national championship. And I have Houston beating Gonzaga. And in the national championship, I have the Houston Cougars beating Iowa State. You, you, you literally... You're proving a point here. You love court storming so much you wanted to make sure their weather pattern made it to the national championship. You, you yeah, like that. I do like yeah, that. I, like I do that. like that. Let's go. That's a big big 12 tournament it, final. Really? Rematch. You're subscribed to the Co- big couple 12 things. Subscribe to the Big 12 experience. Let's go. Uh, quote graphic. Colby Dant chooses Wolfpack to make final four. And someone, can we, can we work on that? Uh, ooh. D- different Wolfpack. I, 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 I thought it was very bold of me to go out on a limb. Steve Alford's lost me millions of dollars, I think, in my life. But I'm buying in to the right, to the right pussy pack. All right? All right. And that is Nevada. I like it. Well, although some would say Steve Alford is a pussy. Uh, mainly Bowser. All right, Mac, you're up. Not a, not a Steve Alford fan. All right, let's run through the East region. I got UConn over Stetson, Northwestern Boo Booey over FAU, Andy Kennedy and UAB over San Diego State. Auburn continues their momentum. They get it done over Yale. BYU, the Cougs get it done. Moorhead outright on the money line against Illinois tomorrow. Uh, Wazoo gets it done over Drake, the Cougs. Uh, And Iowa State rolls uh, South Dakota State. Here's a stunner. Northwestern is going to dethrone <laughs> the Yukon Huskies I love it. in oh Brooklyn. God. Dan Hurley going to the car wash. Yep. Yeah, Dan Hurley's never had a flying squirrel. Here we go. <laughs> right? Just like Wisconsin did against Villanova back in the day, at, coming off their championship. Uh, Auburn to the Sweet 16. Uh, the BYU Cougars are going to Sweet 16, and they'll meet Iowa State over Wazoo. Uh, it ends here for Northwestern. Auburn will get to the Elite Eight over Northwestern. And Iowa State in a Big 12 semifinal will get it done over BYU. And Iowa State, the Cyclones, are going to the Final Four in the East region. Hey, you Down copy me? to the West. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, to the West. Carolina uh, is going to get it done. I got Sparty in the early game tomorrow over Mississippi State. I got the Gales. I know everybody likes Grand Canyon, but give me the Gales. St. Mary's get it done. Roll Tide Roll over Charleston. New Mexico, the Lobos over Clemson. Fuck the ACC. Baylor over Colgate. And Dayton is going to bust Colby's bracket right open right off the bat. (laughs) Steve Alford's going home in the first round. Uh, Arizona Wildcats get it done over Long Beach. (laughs) I wouldn't be that shocked because it's Steve Alford. (laughs) It's Steve Alford. No. Uh, (laughs) No. You asked me last time why I shaved. It's because fucking Steve Alford. 
I'm still mm. taking Nevada to the Final Four, and they might win a national championship. Let's go. You realize Reno. this whole thing is just a ploy because when they lose, it's just going to be really, 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 really good content. Yeah, no, so. I get it. I get it. It's, yeah. it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> Carolina over Sparty. As much as I want to take Sparty, I'll take Carolina. Uh, roll Tide roll to the Sweet 16. I think everybody's sleeping on them a little bit. Baylor over the Lobo, Sweet 16. Arizona's going to roll here over Dayton, Fool's Gold. And everybody's going to talk about a Carolina-Arizona matchup. Give me the tide to shock the North Carolina Tar Heels. Get to the Elite Eight the year after the year. Arizona Wildcats, Caleb Love, and they're going to blow out Alabama in the Elite Eight. Arizona Wildcats out of the West. Uh, over to the South, give me the Houston Cougars. They're going to win by 1,000 against Longwood. A&M will grind it out over Nebraska, SEC over Big Ten. Wisconsin, public dog over JMU. Vermont over Duke. Woo! Lofkowski, you're going home early, buddy. Uh, Texas Tech over the Pussy Pack. That's easy. Uh, Oakland shocks. This is a we're 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 we're, uh, we're fading all the blue bloods here in the South. Kentucky's going down. Duke's going down. Oakland over Kentucky. Colorado State or sorry, Colorado over Florida. Western Kentucky shocks Marquette in the first Matt, game back. Let's get Florida. another one of these. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Houston over Texas A and M. That's a rematch from earlier in the year. Uh, Wisconsin, it, everybody's bored by them. The Staples go to the Sweet 16. Texas Tech, Sweet 16. Colorado, future Big 12 member, Sweet 16 as well. Uh, so, so what do we got? We got three members here. Houston over Wisconsin. Texas Tech, Colorado, future Big 12 matchup. Give me the Red Raiders. They'll get it done. Uh, in Dallas, we'll have a Big 12 regional final. We'll take the Cougars over the Red Raiders. So the Cougars are headed to the Final Four with Kelvin Sampson. Purdue, Zach Eady, they uh, all-out effort Super Bowl against uh, Grambling to get that done. TCU gets it done over Utah State. The Zags, I like it as well. Kansas, they're going to fuck Sanford up. Uh, Oregon gets it done over South Carolina. Akron, the Zips, shock created yes. in the early game. Uh, Colorado State gets it done over Texas. Horns down. Enjoy the SEC. Horns down. You pussies. Uh, Tennessee gets it done over St. Pete's. And we're going to have another stunner. We're going to have two one seeds out in the round of 32. What? Everybody's talking UConn, Purdue. Nope. TCU, Jamie Dixon, get it done. Shock the world. Another Big 12 team this week, 16. Uh, Gonzaga, they're going to send Kansas home. So uh, that Big 12 doesn't get it done there. But anyway, Oregon <laughs> over Akron. Another Dana Altman, Sweet 16. That's all that guy does in March. Tennessee over Colorado State. Uh, we got... Gonzaga over TCU here in the Elite Eight. Uh, and then we got Tennessee meeting up with Gonzaga. They're going to beat Oregon. And I got Rick Barnes going to the Final Four. And, uh, nobody wants to pick Rick Barnes. Everybody wants to favor Rick Barnes. Give me Rick Barnes. So I got Iowa State, Arizona, Houston, Tennessee. Arizona, as much as I hate it, will beat Iowa State in Phoenix. Houston over Tennessee. We got the new Comer in the Big 12 versus the newest member in the Big 12. It's just Big 12 everywhere. Give me the Arizona Wildcats to get it done in Phoenix. Tommy wow. Lloyd, year number three. They win the national championship. Bear down. Wow. Wow. Can I, can I talk about uh, the chat? Bill Rus Russo thinks we're out of our mind for the Gonzaga thing. Look, I understand McNeese, the angle there, but Will Wade, I, I believe, would be interviewing for other jobs right now. I don't believe he's like he's getting the job that Louisville. classy to be like, now we're going to wait until after the year. Um, and then you, the McCullough injury for Kansas, right? And then I think TCU matches up with Purdue amazing. Mm -hmm. I think there's a great chance Gonzaga's first games are against, you know, McNeese, uh, Kansas depleted, and then TCU, who I think they could beat. They beat them a year ago, right? That, it's, it's all about the bracket. It's not like I'm just like, hey, Gonzaga is amazing. It's the bracket. Th that side of the bracket sets up nice. I, both sides, really the right side of the bracket, I feel like is where you want to be on this thing. So I hope that makes some sense. I'm sure he yeah. has the answer key. Someone from your yeah. chat, probably. So they're very deep in the ocean. <laughs> CT. Maybe, maybe they're getting some sort of a weird, <laughs> you know, that weird air poisoning when you come up to the super surface too quick and you start puking up pink. Oh, yeah. It could be happening to this I think, guy. So. I think that might happen to Noah last night after oh. too many drinks. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Yeah, it's, it's uh, two in the. Okay. Anyway. Who's your Devo says uh, Tomanaga is taking the Huskers to the final four. Look Ooh, out. Yeah. That would be great. That would be amazing. That would be Who great. does Otani have? That's what I need to know. <laughs> Fade Otani. <laughs> he's yeah. he's all in on insanity. Yeah. yeah. What's up? All right. We, are we done? Well, Noah. Oh. 
Noah, <laughs> you're on a shot clock. Let's go. Rattle off your bracket. What do you got? So that means no futures with all of these, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, real, we'll do the futures after. Real quick, I don't... <laughs> Real quick, like moving on. This to the is bracket, counting towards your time. Outside <laughs> of the first round, I do not pick the winners based on matchups. I just go on game okay. theory. And, Let's hear right. it. And you're going. UConn over, over Stetson. Northwestern over FAU. Yes, I benedicted from my ATS pick, but again, game theory. San Diego State. Auburn. Is that a band? Duquesne. <laughs> Uh, over BYU. Yes, the Dukes win that thing on the money line. Moorhead State also wins on the money line. Washington State, Iowa State. Then we go UConn over Northwestern, Auburn over San Diego State, Duquesne, 11 to 1 in the Sweet 16 over Whoa. Moorhead State, Whoa. Iowa State over Washington State, UConn over Auburn to get to the Elite Eight, Iowa State over Duquesne to get to the Elite Eight. That's plus 160. UConn over Iowa State in the Final Four. Uh, North Carolina wins the 16 seed game. They will face Mississippi State in the West Region. St. Mary's over Grand Canyon. I'm not getting cute there, but I'm getting cute here with Charleston over Alabama. New Mexico, they play Baylor, and then Nevada wins, Arizona wins. Then we go North Carolina over Mississippi State. I just think it's really hard for them to lose in Charlotte. St. Mary's, plus 180 to get to the Sweet 16. They win against Char Charleston, or I have them over Bama, too. I like that. New Mexico, plus 250 to get to the Sweet 16. Arizona, Sweet 16. St. Mary's beats North Carolina in L.A. I like that a lot. Arizona over New Mexico. Arizona beats St. Mary's to get to the Final Four. Then we go to the South region. Houston wins. Nebraska beats Texas A&M. James Madison over Wisconsin. Duke over Vermont. Texas Tech over NC State. Kentucky I, this one hurt, but I'm taking them over Oakland. Florida plays Marquette there. I have Florida beating Marquette. Uh, Texas Tech beating Kentucky. I really like that match if, if that comes true. Duke minus 110 to get to the Sweet 16. Nebraska knocks off Houston in the second round. Ooh. Plus 600 to get to the Sweet 16. <laughs> Woo! Duke over Nebraska if they play Houston. There's that Big Ten love. If, if Duke plays Houston, they are going to get their shit rocked. And then Florida over Texas Tech. I like both Florida and Texas Tech here. Sprinkle both on the final four here. Florida 18 to 1, Texas Tech 22 to 1. I think both of them could beat Duke and have a shot against Houston. No to get features out of the in South. this uh, portion. <laughs> against the Midwest, Purdue, and then they'll play TCU. Uh, McNeese State, Sanford. I'm just I'm going chalk with the two upsets there in that quadrant. Everybody's taking them, but I love them. Oregon over South Carolina, Creighton over Akron, Colorado State over Tennessee. Uh, because I have the Colorado State plus 600 to get to the Sweet 16. They'll play Oregon plus 550 to the Sweet 16. McNeese beats Stanford plus 650. Purdue beats TCU. Purdue beats McNeese, although I'd be very, very scared if that matchup does come true. I like Oregon State and Colorado State, 19-1, to 20-1, to 1, respectively, to get to the Elite Eight. Purdue plus 175 gets to the Final Four. My Final Four is UConn against Arizona and Florida against Purdue. I have a UConn Purdue final and the Boilermakers. All aboard! Oh, God. <laughs> They're national champions Just, in 2020. You got sprinkling all this Big Ten bullshit. He gives us Nebraska that far. I'm out. Yeah. I mean, he, holy he's shit. He's going to rip in the final me. four, but he won't lock them as a one point <laughs> favorite in the fucking round of 64. That's a great point. <laughs> he's going to rip on me for the oh Big Ten, God. and he's got an all Big 12 shit. Get out of here. No, Florida. Why did you lock Florida against right. Colorado? Because I really like Colorado State more than Florida. I like Florida, too. But When's Colorado the last time State's the Big Ten the won a national championship, and were you Two, alive? 2000 against Michigan State. Were you, how old Michigan are you then? State. I was not born yet. <laughs> oh, man. But I wouldn't want to be born for a Spartan national championship. Woo, so. I like it. God damn. I, I'm old. I just I just realized Noah was born after 9-11. We have to stop the no, show. No, that's not true. I was born in July, 9-11 oh. September. Wow. No. Coincidence? <laughs> I was, Where uh, were you on were September 11th? Were you on the 13th 11th? floor? <laughs> Are uh, you sure we weren't, you weren't in contact I, with any Al-Qaeda? No. I, was, uh, I had already experienced my freshman year in college by the time Noah be <laughs> graced our, the earth with his oh, presence. I had so many fake IDs before Noah was even born. <laughs> All right, putting things in perspective. Hey, have you guys signed up with Hall of Fame Bets? What are you waiting for? Optimize those parlays. March Madness is time for some parlays. Oh. <laughs> uh, head over to hofpets.com. Use the promo code SGP.
N. They got you covered. Uh, parlay optimizer, deep dives on stats. Uh, the NFL, once the NFL. I, I didn't know you guys deep dive. Oh, we go deep, uh, Colby. <laughs> we go deep, uh, deep, deep, deep. I don't know if you remember. I did uh, predict that Kyle Juszczyk would have the first oh. catch in the Super Bowl, and I did sign a winning bet ticket. Uh, shout out to Dean uh, for for the victory, commemorating the victory. So I yeah. will forever if you, be. If you want to meet up with Ryan in person, it'll be uh, under a minute before he mentions that. I <laughs> I've heard him mention it to three or four different listeners. Uh, the, stu- the stewardess and, uh, on the airplane. Kyle I Juszczyk. Feel like, uh, <laughs> I'll take a I'll take a. Jack and Coke and did you let me tell you about Go, this story. Colby, you don't call them stewardess anymore, please. Yeah, it's twenty twenty four. Jesus Stuart Christ. Steward people. Ah, whatever. Uh, yeah. HO at yeah. we, promo code SGPN. <laughs> Download the Hall of Fame bets app. Uh, bet smarter, not harder. Kramer, what are your three favorite futures for March Madness? Hey, hey, hey you, they, 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 you. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I Gonzaga to make the Sweet Sixteen. I picked this up uh, at earlier today at circa plus one twenty five. Ooh, uh, they've made the Sweet Sixteen <laughs> in eight straight tournaments. That feels very strong. Uh, the second angle I'm going to go uh, with, and I was uh, pulling up the price because I, I, the tickets are in the other room, so I don't know, but I have Oregon making the Sweet 16 as well. Uh, Dana Altman has never lost the first round game in the tournament at Oregon, uh, so I, I like the idea of getting them uh, one more round at, at the, if someone could help me with the price. I don't Plus know why. 550. Plus 550 to make the Sweet 16. And I, I think the other one I want to take, and it's th- this one um, is a little less chalky, uh, but it's plus 250 New Mexico to make the Sweet 16. It's just been calling to me. It's been calling to me all week. I love this Lobos team. Yeah, so those are the three I got. Mm. Colby, mm. what do you like future-wise? Uh, well, the first one I like is the Mountain West over four and a half wins. Well, that's all. Oh, that, that's so fun. That, that number is now son of a no no got it, these papers it, it's updated it's up i can give you the updated <laughs> number because we have had a team win and lose <laughs> colby as a uh, as a deep diver uh let me explain to you that colorado state is in the mountain west yeah. and uh that win counted towards that bet so but uh, i can you the, hold this the number <laughs> the number has reopened Two four and a, the number has reopened. All right, you know what? Throw that away. I got I got stuff for you. All right. I go Colby. We're gonna talk some futures tonight. I got He's like, futures. <laughs> I was born in the future. All right. The best. Uh, let real, me tell real you quick, something. Colby. When Colby tells you what he, a position he has, he'll tell you it's his future. It's it's really one of my favorite things he does. He goes, "That's my future." That's right. Uh, look, here's the play. Nevada to win the the West <laughs> Region plus four thousand. Get in on it now, folks. Reno, <laughs> Reno is going to be rocking. All right, uh, so get Scott, ready. Scott Bowser is in the chat, typing in all caps, telling people to not listen to you about. <laughs> He's Nevada. drunk. I saw him have like he was. He, uh, this is the first time both, someone's both offered can me. Be a, true. <laughs> this is the first time someone's offered me a rusty nail since my grandfather right, died. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, Kobe, you want, want me to get you a rusty nail at the bar? And I go, no, I, I, no, no, one, really. no one's ordered a rusty nail since 1971. But, um, uh, yes, I think Nevada plus, plus uh, 4,000 is just a genius play, if I may say so myself, Sean. Um, I also like Gonzaga to win the Midwest plus 680. <laughs> I'm just making you cash left and right. And then uh, a little chalkier, but Iowa State. Uh, plus three seventy five to win the other region there, the East region, and uh, yeah. I like that Gonzaga price. Real quick, I, I they feel like I don't know if we've ever told this story, uh, but I'll do the quick version. The, if, for those who are familiar with uh, Colby, he's not allowed to go back to the Rose Bowl, um, and that story involves Bow- Bowser's talking about Alfred, so I figured I'd bring it up. It also oh. inv- involves Will Wade, so if you want to be, mm. be double careful. Mm. But essentially, Colby is shouting at anyone who will listen. Uh, I want to know. I want to know. We Just trying to, to be a sports fan. Uh, so much so that the UCLA fans, the LSU fans, and just the regular LA people in the audience were all cheering when Colby got taken out. Wait, not, but yes, the, they might have been cheering, which once again shows anyway, how pussy well, they were. But I did <laughs> shotgun beers with the guy who got out of jail in the parking lot. He had a great <laughs> tailgate set up. He had gotten out of jail. I found like a big a selection. There was probably like... <laughs> Probably like 10 Mexican guys hanging out watching the UCLA game on a golf course, and we did get really fucked up, and it was great. 
You don't well, include that, do you? Well, I, first of all, you park they, on a golf they course. They accepted me for who I am. Well, it's funny. We come out, and Colby's like, I didn't want to go in there anyway. I had more fun hanging out out here. You're goddamn <laughs> right I did. It was, anyway, I, tell all, I say all of this to say this could be the second time that I see Bowser and Colby's friendship at <laughs> odds uh, because this, this pro Steve Alfred stuff is really pissing <laughs> Bowser off. Just, just like you pissed him off you did. when you, you Bowser made... Bowser did that, have to tell him to you, shut the fuck up you, a couple of times. You oh. made the UCLA win about you and not UCLA, yeah. you pretty uh, Bowser just like, let me enjoy this win, okay. you pussy. But I'll be honest, I was the one that said, take UCLA money line, and that fucking thing hit. I told you, when the SEC goes to the West... They lose almost every time. <laughs> I wish we had video of Colby oh. getting walked out. <laughs> well, both it was the only thing both fan bases agreed on uh, was that Colby had to leave. Like LSU, <laughs> well, LSU, LSU fans, fans are clapping. No, no, no. LSU fans, and I've partied in Baton Rouge. So don't get on your fucking high horse. The only reason why they wanted me out was because I was anti-LSU. You LSU fans, if you think I was drunk, you need to go to Baton Rouge. Because Baton Rouge, the I look sober. Compared to if, if Baton Rouge, I was sober. In, you, yeah. in, in Louisiana, he would have been the designated you, driver. You were, you <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so they were just happy because I was talking shit to them. I and wish, I, I, yeah. I wish we had a movie for you to watch yourself in the performance. Well, dude, I, I wish UCLA fans. I understand why UCLA doesn't have a. You know, they're the most empty stadium in all of college football oh, because wow. they kick out <laughs> they kick out any passionate fans from their football team. There were a lot of people. There. There a lot of people all right, we got we got a charcuterie board. We got to get to uh, my. Three favorite. Can you say that one more time? Charcuterie. <laughs> that was that not actually, how it was that the actually is a uh, sobriety checkpoint test. You just have to say charcuterie. Because <laughs> you get if you're really Char fucked up. Can, like, can we uh, can we see if we can get Ed Orgeron to say that? <laughs> uh, we tag us. Yeah, we tag us. Ch charcuterie. Uh, Michigan State to make the Sweet 16 plus 350. Don't doubt my boy Tom Izzo. BYU to make the Elite Eight at five to one, and the South Carolina Gamecocks also Ooh. make the Elite Eight 13 to one. Mac, how see you? What are some futures you like? Uh, well, I like I like this uh, Arizona 12 to one to win it all. When all they have to do is go through Salt Lake, L.A., and then yeah. Phoenix. I mean, everybody <laughs> talking about UConn's home base, and then uh. Let's get a couple that are just hit by Sunday night. Everybody wants quick cash. Uh, TCU to make the Sweet 16, 5-1, to one, and Texas Tech, 2-1. to one. Let's oh, go. There you go. A little Big 12 A little love. Big 12, baby. Let's go. <laughs> when does Gonzaga join the Big 12? It feels like that. Hey, you know, just come on in. Come yeah. on in. Let's go. <laughs> the get, my, I heard my Hokies might be knocking. Noah, you already gave out some of your futures during the, uh, during the bracket reveal yeah. segment, which I instructed you not to do. Uh, I three will, minutes it took. Uh, Noah got it in under three minutes, so that was impressive. Well, that's that's how Noah always gets it in under three minutes. Uh, Not always. Oh wow! Oh, oh wow! That's what she said. <laughs> Noah, she works by the hour, so come on. You got it. The quicker it gets done. Uh, all joking aside, three favorite futures. Ooh. Rapid fire. What do you got, Noah? Yeah, so uh, they're all in my bra. All the futures that I'm on are on the bracket that I posted on my Twitter account. I'm going to give you the three that have the best value out there. Mm. Texas Tech to make the Final Four. Yes, I had Florida to make the Final Four. However, 22 to 1 for the Red Raiders over on. Am I allowed to say the book real quick? Sure. <laughs> over on MGM, bet MGM. Please there, bleep that. There yeah. are 14 to 1s out in the wild. You can get 22 to 1 on the Red Raiders to get the Final Four on MGM. Then the second one is Colorado State at 20 to 1 to get to the lead eight. This is also at bet MGM and there are 14 to ones. <laughs> there are 14 to ones out there in the wild. And the last one, this one has to be, uh, you know, uh, online sports book. Oh, bet now we're talking. There we go. A little crypto <laughs> bet. I like that. Bet rivers, 19 to one. It's wow. Oregon ducks to get to the elite eight. 12 to ones are out in the wild. Three I, most valuable futures. Right I like there. that. I like how Washington State and Oregon State make money every time a Pac-12 team wins. So Colorado winning today, they cashed in. Shout out to them. Arizona As wins they it all. Should. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, what do we got? Some more. Uh, oh, uh, hey, what's up? There man? we go. Yes. We got we, Ryan. We got to hit the table. We got to hit the slot machine. We got to make sure all our bets the are in. How's the slot? Definitely not going to hit the pillow. No. Def definitely not. Pillow is the last thing we got to hit. Again, Don't, only got to be up at like you know. What, less than uh, nine Slash. hours to go to the Westgate and just be 
be debaucherous for uh, 12 hours. Although Kramer was asleep this afternoon, and it was an interesting. I'd never seen someone sleep with the pillow on top of their face. He was trying Just to waiting for himself. someone to, it was to, like to water, clamp it down on him. Waterboarding himself with a Palazzo <laughs> pillow, uh, Ryan. I, I don't know. Maybe beat yourself up. I about, mean, it, it, it does feel a lot better if you can strict the air a little bit. Well, and the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, one last note. So we were having the conversation in the room. We we're talking, Hey, if we had to jump out of this window, what would be the best way? Cause there was some guy washing the window and we we're trying to run the numbers as to uh, our survival rate. If we jumped on his window washing rope and rappelled down, yeah. obviously very slim, but we we're trying to do the math best way. And then we just carried on the conversation. This nice lady gets in the, uh, in the, in the elevator. And we're like still talking about best way to break out of the hotel room. And, and we're out, we're on the 43rd floor. I like that idea that Colby Kramer goes, had. Colby goes, well, you never know. I mean, 9-11, you're up on these tall, <laughs> tall buildings. And you I can like tell to be the, realistic. The this, is like the, this is like the Rose Bowl all over again. Right? <laughs> the lady's just so uncomfortable. She's like, yeah, I guess you kind of like the ground floor in those situations. Like, And just immediately, door open, that, door that, open, that, door that, open. That, that immediately was. get out of here. We're on a list. It's okay. But uh, I, my, my, Colby, favorite, scared her. my favorite is Kramer saying, Look, if you if you grab the mattress and throw it out the window with you, you, you hang got on a shot to the making it. <laughs> that was that's Wait, listen, you ritual. you want to create as much drag as possible. <laughs> And then at the end, you're going to pop up. You're going to try to surf on it a little bit. Maybe we'll build in some straps. And then the last minute, you want to jump, I, I, hey, I like reducing this. your turn, Look, the, the velocity. I thought it was ridiculous when you first started. But then I thought, if you have someone tie you to the mattress, it made a little you bit of sense. You don't have that kind of time. It made a little bit of sense. Right. You don't have a spotter. This is a uh, welcome. So, so how do you decide who gets to be tied to the mattress and you who has to be the second person? You still got to aim for the pool, though. You still got to aim for the pool. Wait. Uh... <laughs> This is my prison on a daily basis, <laughs> which, by the way, the latest thing that the flat earthers are saying, if the if, if the earth was spinning, why why aren't all asteroids long lines? Why are they all nice little circle plots? Anyway, shout out we can to, end on that. Shout out to Hoosier Devo uh, saying two 9-11 references in one March Madness stream. I 100% would have taken the under. Well, that's why, uh, that's why you got to pound the overs in March Madness. Hey, thank you, everyone, for tuning in again. Well, first half unders, though. Yes. Perfect timing there, Noah. Um, <laughs> thank you, everyone, for tuning into the show. Make sure you Smash! that subscribe button. And tomorrow. Come out tomorrow. Yes, yeah. come out. Uh, if you're in town uh, Thursday and Friday, a.k.a. today, uh, depending on when you're listening, <laughs> we will be hanging out at the Westgate all day watching games. Come say hi. Uh, tickets are very reasonable. Uh, one of the best spots to watch games in that hoops uh, ballroom. You can just follow the signs for Barry Manilow or Hoop Central. Can't miss it. <laughs> Manilow's been here for years. He's oh, he has. It. It's, yeah. uh, it's the original theater where Elvis played. Pretty cool uh, historic theater to uh, just hang out, sweat out some bets. Wait, <laughs> it's where he died too, right? Uh, I think he died. Didn't he? He died on the toilet. That's what I'm saying. So every time you take a shit, you can think about that. <laughs> hey, all right. There you go. The king of pop. I'm going to go hang with Elvis for a little bit, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a great. I'm going to start using that whenever we're in Vegas. I'm going to I'm gonna hang with the, anytime I got to go to the bathroom, I'm going to hang with the uh, spirit of Elvis. Me if the Thank ghost... you for participating in the Spurs Game Podcast. That, that's a horror movie. The ghost of Elvis just pops out of a toilet. <laughs> That's a great so horror flick. I like that. All right, idea. we're gonna we're gonna work on that script. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> night, uh, late night again after all the games for the Sports Game Podcast. I'm Sean, second money green. He's Ryan. Remember to use protection. Kramer, let it ride. Dong.